Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong, and we are in a very cool, very old uh, apartment in Paris, uh, and we found this awesome stairway with a cupola, uh, has a fresco on it, and we have our very dramatic model, Lena, who is perfectly fitting into the landscape here. So, what I'm going to show you to do is how to set up a multiple light situation so we can accent certain things. Now, we want to go straight into the camera, bypassing Photoshop. And so what I have right here is this is a disk recorder, and you can see the photo as it's being taken so that you can see that there's no Photoshop involved when I do this photo. So what I have here is a uh, Sony A6000, and I have the 16 to 70 Zeiss f4 lens and so you can see that this is the perspective I'm getting with this lens I can go back and forth, but it's it's very wide and it's also rectilinear Corrected and then I have no flashes here, but I have a radio unit. Okay now. Let's look at the camera This is about ISO 2000. I have my flashes on manual and so they are firing right now manual at, uh, you know, like one sixteenth of a second for the A, the beam that's going right on her, and then the other one at uh, one twenty-eighth power, one sixteenth power, one twenty-eighth power. That's one of the things that's cool about using off-camera flash is you can mix your available light, uh, and I'll show you real quick what I mean by that. We'll go down to one two fifty. Okay. And so... That, that's what I mean. So up there you see that we have a red gel and we have a snoot coming down. Okay, so let's go upstairs and I'm going to show you the snoots. These are old rickety stairs. Okay, so way up here on top we have, uh, this is the light that's going onto her. So it's got a grill and its sole purpose is to give a dramatic, very, very dramatic pop on Lena. And then up here we have light number two, which is just, we swap the gel tabs, blue and red, we drop them in there, and its job is just to light that faux cupola. All right, let's go look at the shot. Very simple to do, believe it or not. Once you set up the, uh, the lighting, you can play with it on your controller, change the ratio of the A light, the B light, the available light, and then you can create your own kind of masterpiece without having to rely on Photoshop.